My name is Emil Hodic. I'm from Croatia. Uh, in Lamborghini, I arrived on uh, the beginning of 2014, so January is going to be six years. As a kid, I was playing a lot with the, with the Legos. Uh, I have to be honest, I had some family in, in, in Denmark, so each holidays they were coming and visiting us, they were bringing up boxes and boxes of Lego. And I was, as a kid, combining all of them together, trying to create not only what was requested to do, but also designing and doing something by myself. So it was amazing that with the simple, simple uh, stuff like this, you can create and design whatever you want. This for me was nice and interesting. Maybe it was even the one of the things to, 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 to make me became a designer because you have a simple tool, but you can create something special. It's like a pencil. You have a pencil and the paper, you can design something incredible. So when I heard about this uh, possible collaboration with the LEGO team, I was, I have to say it was really cool. The team from LEGO is amazing. They're friendly, they're open and the uh, collaboration was really nice. Honestly, at the beginning I was a bit skeptic how it's going to look the model because I know the CN uh, is quite complex and it's not easy to do a LEGO, let's say, interpretation of the CN. Collaborating with Eminel uh, from uh, Lamborghini, who really knows the ins and outs of this car, was really informative and really helpful for us in our process. I mean, this is a guy that knows every radius and every millimeter of this car. He's, he's been across all of the design decisions on the car. So, so he could really help us. When he visited us, he could actually help us drive the process forward because he was the one who could say, go, no go, yes, no, when we presented different uh, suggestions for different changes uh, on the car. And I think he was an awesome guy to work with. Uh, to create a good interpretation of, let's say, Cyan as a Lego model, is always to, to maintain the, the, the key features of the car. So on the front, for example, we have this Countach element on the hood, which I would say somehow is, is done in this way and it's appreciated because it's there. Then the main, let's say, the one of the, the, the most important things on the front is the Y light, which is really well done on the, on the model. Going on the side view, uh, we have this triangular, triangular uh, air intake, which was not easy, I would say, for LEGO to do it, but the result is quite good. And also was important to have this Y shape on the side view, which is also well done. The, the one of the most important key elements on the rear was the Countach graphics with the tail lamps also done in a hexagonish way, which is perfectly interpreted on the, on the LEGO model. And uh, the, the last, let's say, the, the most important feature for us was this, uh, was this uh, periscopio, periscopio feeling coming from Countach, which is perfect. So I would say the result is good with all our requests. And not only designing the car, the car don't has to look only nice, but has to be also functional. And what is amazing that Lego did <laughs> this crazy, crazy moment, which is for me quite impressive. It's exactly the same like a uh, real uh, CN. And you can see that the car when it's off, so when it's parked somewhere, looks like a sculpture, clean, puristic. But when it's driving, it's going fast, you have all this uh, rear part of the car, it becomes functional. But not only, I mean, I was amazed about the scissor doors, which are really iconic for Lamborghini. This is impressive that you can really recognize all these functionalities also on a, such a model, complex model, because I, I know, I understand, it's not easy to, to, to do interpretation with the, these small pieces of Lego. So the result, it's, it's more, than, more than awesome. We actually have a meeting in the morning where we show the latest version of the car and um, I was actually running back uh, to my uh, workstation and, uh, and actually changed the ideas that he come with. So uh, I could show him later this day, I could show him the changes and it was a very big help to getting there uh, with the last small details. and. Uh, and what Eminel also did was he actually brought the latest information from Lamborghini on where they were in their process. It wasn't completely finished yet at that point either. So, so talking to those little details where they were at now and where they would end up was, was really important to get that 
yeah, I think we could call it like a co-creation, sitting together for a couple of days and actually talking through the model and, and changing things while he were here. It was super helpful and he's an extremely positive guy to sit with and, and uh, a lot of fun to work with also.